All right, hello everybody and welcome to the YouTube channel. If you guys enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like on it and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're enjoying the mathematical content that we are providing. And hopefully you guys tune in for the next one and share it to anyone that might need some help. All right, so on today's video, we are going to be going over some practicing unsolving systems with elimination uh, using addition at the beginning. If you guys want to try yourself, uh, you guys pause the video, try it yourself. If not, uh, I will show you guys how to do it and let's get some more practice under your belt so you guys are better at solving these types of problems. All right, we have these two equations right here and remember, at the end of the day, we're trying to find that point of intersection. We're trying to find that X and the Y, the, um, the points where the two lines intersect on a coordinate plane. So that is what we're trying to find. Okay, we have 5X plus 2Y equals 6 and negative 9X minus 2Y equals negative 22. All right. So what I taught you guys with addition, you're basically, if you see the opposite of like two ones that look very similar, we have this 2y and this negative 2y. If we have the opposite of each other, that's when we're gonna do addition. So right here, we have this 2y and this minus 2y. We're looking for that because we want to cancel it out. So that's why we're gonna be doing addition because they are opposites of each other. So that's what you're trying to look for. And we're seeing that these y's are gonna cancel out because uh, 2y minus 2y will give you 0y. We don't have to write it, but I just wanted to show you guys that it is 0y. So 5x minus 9x would give you negative 4x. 6 minus 22 would give you negative 16. And now we have, we're trying to get x by itself. So right here, it's a multiplication problem. So we're gonna do the opposite, which is division. Divide negative four by both sides. Don't forget about the negative. Do not forget, a lot of students do. Don't forget about the negative. All right, negative four divided by negative four give you one, just one x. We just write x. Negative uh, 16 divided by negative four will give you positive four. And there we go. We have our half of, half of the problem already done. We have our, our four as our x, and we're still looking for the y. Our x is done, we still have our y. So let's, so in order to find the y, we can plug it into our first problem, our first equation, or our second equation. I'm gonna just plug it into the first one. It looks a bit more simple. So let's do that right now. We have five times this four, because that is what x is. We're gonna be replacing it in here. Five times four plus two y equals six. Five times four is 20 plus two y equals six. Uh, we're going to subtract 20 to both sides because we're solving for y. And then this turns into 0. We have 2y equals negative 14. Divide 2 by both sides because we want y by itself. We have y equals negative 7. And now we know our y value, negative 7. So the point where the two lines intersect is 4, comma, negative 7. All right. Let's go to the second problem right here. Let me erase this, get it out of the way. We have 2x minus 5y equals negative 6, and negative 2x plus 7y equals 14. Now, I want you guys to look for the opposites. As you can see, this 2x and this negative 2x, they are opposites of each other, different signs, but they both have 2x. So now, in this case, we're going to be eliminating these things. We're going to eliminate the x's this time. So we're going to add. Remember, we're doing addition. When you see the opposites of each other, 2x minus 2x would give you 0x. So we just cr cross it out. Negative 5y plus 7y would give you positive 2y. Negative 6 plus 14 would give you positive 8. And this multiplication, do the opposite. Divide 2 by both sides. We are solving for y, and we get y equals 4. Now we have half of the problem solved. There we go. We're still looking for our x. Now uh, we can plug it into the first equation or the second equation. I'll plug it into the first one uh, just because I want to. Um, 2x minus 5. Separate it. Uh, minus 5 times 4 because that is where we're trying to plug in right here. This y because we solve for y equals negative 6. Now we can solve it. Uh, 2x, let's simplify it. Negative 5 times 4 would give you negative 20 equals negative 6. You're going to add 20 to the to both sides because we 
we want to leave x by itself, this turns into 0. 2x equals negative 6 plus 20 would give you 14. We're going to leave x by itself, so we divide 2 to both sides. And we have 14 divided by 2. We have x equals positive 7. And there you go. We have the point where, where, it e where they intersect, 7, 4. And that is how you solve these two problems using elimination with addition. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and stick around for the next video where we teach you about subtraction. Thank you so much.